Welcome to the top 10 most anticipated and noteworthy comics for May 1st, 2024. Guys, it's never too early to start that pool list for next week, and hopefully this list does help you make decisions on what comic books to buy. Before we get started, guys, I just gotta give a quick shout out to Whatnot. If you never used Whatnot before, what are you waiting for, everybody? There is a link in my description box below. When you create your profile and win your first auction on Whatnot, you're gonna get a $15 credit towards that first purchase. So if there's a comic that you're looking for, why not save some money, get $15 knocked off of it? So check out what to, what not today. There is that link in the description box below, and it does help support the channel, so thank you very much. All right, guys, so let's get started with this week's most anticipated noteworthy with the Hot Seat book. Here we go. Get Fury issue one. We have Nick Fury in a comic book with Frank Castle. So... And this could be a book that I really enjoy or I really hate. I'm not a real fan of like army books or war books. They, I just never been into that stuff. But this could be a cool little comic book or series here with these cool two characters interaction, interacting with each other. Sorry, can't speak. So we'll see what it has to bring. So this one is 28 pages and this one is $4. All right, next is the book that is on the rise, and we have The Savage Sword of Conan, issue one. So, I'm sorry, this is The Savage Sword of Conan, issue two. I read the first issue of this, and I really enjoyed it. It was like this black and white, oversized magazine format, going back to the early, like going back to the early days of Conan. I really enjoyed it. I love the stories that it had to offer here. So I'm gonna try issue two, and you got a lot of bang for your buck here. This is a 64-page comic for the price of seven bucks. So officially kicking off this countdown now with number 10, we have X-Men. This is issue 34. Guys, the end is finally near. It's not quite over yet though. Can't wait for the Krakoan age to end. There is definitely some great ideas in this and some solid stories, but overall it's just been way too dragged out with this whole fall of X thing. And I just feel like the main title at this point, it's just spinning its wheels to get to the end, right? Of course, I'm reading it to find out how it ends, uh, but uh, I'm really looking forward to the new X-Men stuff coming in, in the summer. This book is 28 pages, and this is a $4 comic. Now, when it comes to this current comic book week, guys, listen, it was a very uh, lackluster week. There's not a lot of comics that are getting ready to come out because of free comic book day. So if you see some books going, Mike, you couldn't find any other books. Yeah, it was some slim pickings. Coming in at number nine, we have Spider Woman issue seven. So Jessica Drew is dealing with the loss of her son, Jerry. And this has kind of been a bridge between story arcs, right? She leaves New York or whatever, wherever she's leave, living, like Manhattan or whatever it is, to go to San Francisco to try to get a fresh start. We've got to see her do a battle on the train. We get to see her team up with Spider-Boy. And now she's arriving at San Francisco and it looks like she's going against another adversary. Who that is, not quite sure. We'll see what happens with Jessica. I need a little bit more story development here uh, because I feel like this story does have potential. Um, uh, and I like the Jessica Drew character. She's had some great series in the past. So this is legacy numbering 123. This is a 32 page comic and this one is $4. Moving on to number eight, we have Moon Knight Blood Hunt. That's right, guys. The Blood Hunt tie-ins are beginning here. And when it comes to the Blood Hunt tie-ins, I will read the ones that I am currently reading, like the ongoing series I'm currently reading. I'll try maybe a few of the tie-ins, but if they're not good, I'll probably wind up dropping them. But this one is Cry for the Moon. For the new and vengeful Moon Knight, taking Mark Spector's name isn't enough as he now turns his sights and fists on everything Mark held dear in his life. So this doesn't give you too much of how it ties in the Blood Hunt. Maybe they don't want to give away the story or anything like that. 
but this is legacy numbering 235. This is a 28 page comic. This is $5. Moving on to number seven, we have The Incredible Hulk. This is issue 12. So this is the huge aftermath of the Frozen Charlotte character. The reason why this is so high on my list is once again, there's not that many comics that are coming out. And I feel like with Nick Klein coming back on the artwork, I think this is going to get people a little bit more excited. We're done with that last story arc here. And hopefully this progresses the story of the character Charlie because Hulk now has to find a cure to get her out of that China doll state that she's in from, uh, from what happened with Frozen Charlotte, right? So, and it looks like he's visiting brother voodoo um again let's hope it doesn't keep sidetracking from what this main story is about and that's like the queen of the monsters and you know hulk uh dealing with should i get rid of the hulk persona and give it to her like i want to see that outcome i want to see that queen i want to see something big happen in this comic and it just doesn't seem like anything big is happening and i'm holding on waiting and waiting and waiting and there's just no delivery yet so we'll see what happens man legacy numbering 793 28 pages four dollars coming in at number six we have space ghost this is issue one listen i used to watch space ghost just like the rest of you if you're old like me right and this is a hannah barbera cartoon i heard that this book is going to be a little bit more darker which I'm excited to see, and I hope it's a solid story with solid artwork. The most recent thing that I read has been Thundercats, which it's not bad, but there's too many plot lines, the art is not that great, and it's just not, it just, I don't know, man, there's just something missing from it to where it could be epic, right? And I hope this book doesn't suffer from that. It does have something going for it. There's less characters, right? There's maybe three, four characters in there. Um, where as Thundercats, you have a ton of Thundercats. And I don't know if the writer is balancing everything right in Thundercats. So hopefully this book delivers. This bad boy is $5. Coming in at number five, we have Deadpool and Wolverine World War Three. This is issue one. How about that newest trailer that just dropped a few days ago? Holy cow, that was awesome. And this book could not be released at the more perfect time. Finally, we get a, a Marvel comic book released, you know, right around the movie, right? Um, I'm really excited for that. And I think with, you know, the X-Men animated uh, story and this only this Marvel movie being released this year, I think people are going to just cram the theaters they're going to want to see this i think this is going to take a this is going to make a lot of money and hopefully it delivers to where you know it, it brings back the mcu once again because man it's been flat lately right so i'm really excited about this book the movie the x-men when it comes to the animated series 36 pages five bucks coming in at number four I'll say it every time, the best fall of X slash mutant, non-mutant comic there is. This is Invincible Iron Man issue 18. Jerry Duggan has done a phenomenal job writing this comic book. And now he's side by side with Magneto here. So for years, you know, this was Iron Man's greatest fear, right? Is Magneto because of the armor and everything else. But now they're going to be working together to take down Orcus because we know Orcus's main thing here is they've been secretively developing this mega sentinel or whatever sentinel that they've developed to destroy all humans and destroy all mutants so they can take over the world themselves. So, hey, it is what it is, man. It sucks to be a human and a mutant right now. Do the mutants prevail? Probably not. Do the humans prevail? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nevertheless, it's been a good series. Legacy numbering 668, 28 pages, $4. Coming in at number three, we have Superman House of Brainiac Special. This is issue one. So this is like a, a, a House of Brainiac 2.5. This is in between two and three. And this is going to give you like little, I guess, tie-in stories of what happened to Lobo's, you know, city and what's going on with Lois and Perry and just all these different things that are going on while this House of Brainiac event is happening. You know, listen, sometimes issues like this are kind of lame, 
but sometimes it could be great. And the thing that's good about this Superman event is that it's been really good. So, you know, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully it delivers 48 pages and this is $6. All right, you guys are gonna laugh at these next two. Here is number two. And my number two most anticipated comic, remember it's my most anticipated, and not because it's like gonna be this great story and I'm telling you to go out there and buy this comic book, I just wanna see what it's like. And this is Blood Hunt, this is issue one, the bloodiest Marvel event ever. Bloodiest ever. Maybe, we'll see, right? Again, it's a vampire story, Right, it has the Avengers, it's got Blade, it's got Spider-Man, it's got Hunter's Moon, Tigra, Doctor Strange, Clea, it's got all these different characters in there. There's gonna be a ton of vampires. And uh, I wanna see what it has to offer. Does it affect the entire Marvel Universe? Yes. So like I said earlier, buy what you wanna buy. Just buy the event. If you read certain ongoing series, just read those ones. If you don't wanna read the extra tie-ins, that's fine. Just read what you want to read. This one's 40 pages and this one is $5.99. All right, guys. So after number one, remember we're not done as we have those noteworthy comic books to talk about. And this week is a special noteworthy segment that has to do with free comic book day. So stay tuned for that. All right, so my number one most anticipated comic goes to Blood Hunt Red Band Edition issue one. So if there's gonna be an even bloodier comic book, it's gonna be the Red Band Edition. So you get an extra eight pages for one more dollar. It's polybagged and it's explicit. It's probably got some curse words. It's probably got some blood. You know, it's probably, it, it's just, it's more adult oriented. So that's why you're gonna wanna pay that extra dollar. I'm highly anticipating this because I wanna compare the two books and see if there's really that much of a difference and if it's worth getting that red band edition. So yes, this one is 48 pages for the price of $7. All right, so here we go. Noteworthy Comics, free comic book day edition. I'm gonna highlight some of those. If you're looking for more in-depth coverage for free comic book day, I'm gonna be releasing a video. I'm probably thinking it's gonna be Sunday. I'm filming a uh, new comic or a free comic book day video with Comic Central, my local comic shop. I gotta edit it and I gotta put it out. So hopefully it'll be out on Sunday. So you know everything that is coming out, okay? All right, so here we go. Marvel Comics, guys. We have free comic book day 2024, the Blood Hunt X-Men issue one. First witness the overture to this summer's major crossover event starring the Avengers in Blood Hunt. Then get a glimpse of the future of mutant kind as Jubilee learns that you cannot go home again. So we have that one. Then we have from Marvel, we have Ultimate Universe Spider-Man issue one. So just weeks ahead of Amazing Spider-Man 50, get the first taste of the return of the Goblin, plus prepare for next evolutionary step of Ultimate Universe as a powerful new hero debuts. So we're gonna get a new character in this book, guys. Next, we have um, Marvel Voices issue one, the free comic book day edition starring Spider-Man India. So we got that one. All right, so it looks like DC only has one offering, but it's a big one. And this is the absolute uh, issue for, or absolute power uh, that's getting ready to come out soon. This is the prelude to the biggest DC comic event of 2024. So it's a story 30 years in the making, is it really? And in the special free comic book day tale, the final domino to fall in an epic scheme comes tumbling down and the DC universe will never be the same. Cool. All right, then we have indie comics here. There's quite a few of them that I highlighted. Uh, we have Energon Universe 2024 special. So obviously this is highlighting the Energon Universe and I think you're gonna get the first appearance of the Autobot Brawn in here. So if you've collected everything that has to do with the Energon universe, pick up this book. I think this cover is done by Ryan Otley. And then we have uh, from IDW, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue one, free comic book day. And then we have from Boom, 
the world's the world of James Tynion. So this is highlighting a little bit of, you know, all his stories from the past and in the future. And then we have from Dark Horse Free Comic Book Day 2024 Hellboy and Stranger Things issue one. And then we have uh, a Conan book. This is Conan Battle of the Black Stone. This is issue one. And then for a lot of old guys like me, if you guys have watched Flash Gordon movie, we have uh, Flash Gordon issue zero. So it looks like this is a zero issue maybe to kick off a future series. Uh, I would definitely read that. I think that could be a lot, of, a lot of fun. And then we have from Valiant, we have the free comic book day 2024, the Valiant issue one. So this is gonna be kicking off you know, they're a new initiative as well. So there you guys have it. There are all the uh, most anticipated and noteworthy comics for May 1st, 2024. Don't forget, guys, new comic book day, or I should say free comic book day is right around the corner. Stay tuned for that free comic book day special presented by me and Comic Central. And as always, guys, if you love my content, more content's right here for you to click on. And of course, guys, support the local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, read your comics so we can have great comic conversation. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.